Hi, my name is Donald Clark. Uh, I'm here to talk about my new book, Learning Technologies. So I spent the whole of my adult life in the learning technologies game. So this book is a, a summary of the, all the technologies that exist in the field and hopefully a good guide for people who are practicing learning professionals. I think there's a great myth about learning technologies that it really only started in the year 2000 or something with computer technology, but of course as long as we've been around as a species we've had learning technology. In a sense the book covers this. So if you go back into the caves in Altamira in Spain or Chauvet in France then you will see these amazing uh, cave drawings which were used to help people, so all the handprints were for young people, to help people either avoid being eaten or catch things which they were going to eat. So the way, you know, we've been involved in, that's a form of technology, writing was a form of technology. Uh, you know, it only ever invented four places on the planet, uh, Mesopotamia, Egypt, China and uh, Mesoamerica. Then we have printing. Books are forms of technology, you know. This is about a book, people forget that books are technologies. Uh, printing amplified, of course, writing, which was in manuscripts. And then we come into the broadcast media, you know, television, radio, they are still forms of, of learning technologies. But the really big one, and of course the sort of Cambrian explosion of technology, has been computers that came in in the 70s, 80s, 90s, the internet around 2000. Uh, and of course that's exploded into all sorts of things. But I suppose for learning technologists, really the landscape they occupy now is one of there's informal learning, internet, social media, all that jazz, we know about that. The formal learning stuff, if you're living courses, however, tends to come through various platforms. And people underestimate the types of platforms because we have learning management systems, we have learning experience platforms, we have learning record stores now. We also have uh, what in academia, what you might call virtual learning environments, VLEs. We have practice platforms that deliver spaced practice or deliberate practice. We have platforms that allow you to learn about new technology rollouts. We have social media platforms. The internet itself is a platform. So there's about 20 or 30 different species of platform even. And I think you have to be aware of that as a learning technology. And then there's also content. Content is a technology. Increasingly platforms are becoming smarter because AI is being introduced. So you're getting personalized learning through platforms, mainly through learning experience platforms or digital adaption platforms, or performance support platforms, electronic support platforms. But you're also getting, in addition to smart platforms, we're now seeing smart content. So content is no longer another course and people roll their eyes because they're going to spend three days being PowerPointed at. Smart content is really personalised, so you get what you need when you need it. So I'm sitting in the workplace learning, I'm doing a project and I don't know what blockchain is. What is blockchain? I need to find out about blockchain. So these platforms are delivering smart content right to you at the moment of need. And that moment of need might be, a, I need to know more about this, it's new, I've never heard about it before, I need to take a deep dive in it, or I need to find something practical in the application of that knowledge in my workplace, learning by doing. So. Smart platforms are coming, smart content, smart data, the use of data in that loop. So you make sure that we're delivering the right stuff to the right people at the right time. And really all this technology is freeing us from the tyranny of time and the tyranny of place. So you can do anything you want, anywhere, if you're on the internet, uh, uh, by anyone.